Gotta give it extra time just to be extra sure. You need to record like over a fucking minute of dead air to know that it's recording. Like, that's a problem. Are you ready? Welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek, and today I'm joined with my girlfriend, Madison Grimes, as we re-adventure into the wonderful why? world of... Why? Why what? My full name? Madison Kaylee Grimes. Alright, you're restarting it. Just say Maddie. Lives in Levittown. Stop! 52 Tweed Rain. <laughs> now you have to cut this whole thing and start over fresh. Ah. Uh. I don't want any of that on there. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and today I'm joined with my lovely girlfriend Madison as we re-adventure into the wonderful world of Let's Go Gaming. Oh, no, we are wonder we are in Let's Go Gaming. We're one You wanna just start mm -hmm. over? <laughs> yep. <coughs> Third time's a charm. For third time, yeah. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and today I am joined with my lovely girlfriend Madison as we re-adventure into the wonderful world of Sword Art Online, Hollow Realizations, Warriors of the Sky. And Haruhi says, Full dive technology began in SAO. It's spreading to ALO, constantly evolving and changing it as a revolution. Also, hi guys. <laughs> And soon that revolution resulted in the birth of an entirely new world. About a month ago, a game was announced. The buzz amongst the fans was palpable, but even the world at large took notice. I mean, who fucking announces a game before a month before it comes out? What poor marketing. The game's name was Sword Art Origin. You know, totally not related to that original game that killed people. A spiritual successor, more likely, to Sword Art Online. Origin promised to port over most of the SAO data to their virtual creation. That explains how you can create a game in such a short time as you're copying it all. The world was shocked! As though that the death game was reborn, as though the 4,000 lives it stole were lost in vain. But here we are playing it! There was criticisms, questions of the time, and focus. Voices were raised and silently quelled. Arrangements had made. Government agents oversaw the company operating SAO, the safety focused Umasphere. It's S A dot dot O. What is that? Hyphen? No. That's a fucking colon! Learn your grammar. Tech was required to log in. And not only that, Dr. Arshvavin 7 lent her own name in support of the product. What? The true goal is allegedly to collect all sorts of data and statistics to help advance full dive technology. Because we couldn't just do that with a new game, we had to bring up this old one. But Seven told me herself that her name was only a publicity stunt, an act to silence the game's most ardent critics. Then why would she do it? I read, the I read between the lines, though. I could sense how important this study was to her. How far could Full Dive take humanity? The initial outcry slowly faded weeks ago. Seven called, asking if we'd honor her by being among the first beta testers. Just like the first time. It wasn't an easy decision. We had all the seen that prison. We fought our way free from SAO after much thought we agreed. 
In part, I think for some reason, Seven... Same. For the same reason, Seven did. We wanted to learn more about what Full Dive could really offer the world. And are we getting paid to do it? Fuck no, but free video games. But there were... But there was one other question. It lurked quietly in the corners of our minds, waiting. Can we use this for Pornhub? We had done so much together. Forged unbreakable bonds in Aincrad. So together, we would face those fears. Move forward. I mean, plus, also, no responsibility and I get to play video games all day. So it seemed to take forever. Weeks of waiting, hours of download. I mean, my internet was connection was really slow. Origins closed beta, went live, and we logged on. My voice is really starting to hurt. And I'm almost Stop starting to sound talking like an like asshole. Tough man. Day two of the beta. So far, everything seems pretty normal. So, is his group of friends literally like the only people in the game so far? No, there's some other people, but this is beta test. Though there was something so strange about that message last night, something about it refuses to sit right with me. SAO's floating castle is gone, now replaced with a wide world under vast skies. The name of this realm actually comes from an element of the game's engine, the Actuality Integration Network. From those initials, the developers named their creation Einground. Not like they took the Ein from Einprad and just put ground after it. Yeah. To make or it just, more grounded. Or just tried to make a really fucking complicated name that nobody could pronounce but sounded fucking old fucking mystic, mystic and all that shit. I didn't even get the... Well then read! I'm trying to add some comedy to the fucking routine, Madison. It's called improv. I'm gonna skip through this one too. No matter how hard I try, I can't get the message out of my head. Who was the sender, <laughs> see? Who could that be? I don't even know anybody whose name starts with C. We all have weird hey, Japanese can names. can you even hear us? No, I'm talking too loud about myself. Whoa. Oh. Whoa! And finally, I get your attention. Haha. <laughs> Jeez, Haruhi. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Oh, hey, you guys. Who the fuck are you? Now you notice us. You were staring dull-eyed at the sky for upwards of five minutes. Yeah, I was explaining all the exposition and shit to the audience. Yeah, jeez, get your life together, Haruhi. But seriously, are you okay? You seem kind of bleg. I mean, here I am in the game that killed all my friends. But I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. Promise. <laughs> in other words, much better news. I'm glad to see you three could log on. I mean, it's not like we have enough people here, so it's starting to get crowded, I'm but hey, I'm sad welcome. that I couldn't join you all on the official first day, but I suppose sacrifices must be made. It's cool. We all have responsibilities. Except me, Haruhi. I just stay home and play video games. Sedon wasn't originally in Sword Art Online player, but a stroke of luck, she logged in just as a bug ravaged the game. What? What fucking luck? <laughs> I think she's in therapy for something, but I haven't pried into why. She'll share it with us when the time's right. Totally won't kill herself first. She's always above and beyond the call. Cool-headed, fearless, and sharp. Sinon saved my life more than once. Way more. I wanted to be here, but I had to go to the hospital for some tests, and they got all insistent that I rest or whatever. Are you sure it's okay to be logged in today? I mean, I'm bleeding out of my ears, but yeah. <laughs> oh, totally, and <laughs> that's not just me saying it. The doctors told me I could play to my heart's content, and I plan to, until my heart gives out. Excellent! It's a totally fresh world! We're gonna explore this place so hard, you're gonna have a whole bunch of new stuff to see doctors about. In Alfheim, Yuki was known as Zekin. She had a legend to rival my own as one of the fiercest fighters ever to live. Oh, okay. But you wouldn't guess it because she's a girl. Fuck her strength you. comes in part from her Fuck full you. dive experience, which was used as a form of end of life care for her illness. I mean, who could have fucking what? guessed that what? putting her in a video game could have saved her life? But here we are. No, literally, that says she's dying. She's not going to get better, so they gave her a game. 
Here you go, kid. Here's your make-a-wish. <laughs> Luckily, after Asuna and I met her and we became friends, her condition stabilized. She gives every day all she's got. That's really fucked up! I want to do it all! There's so much stuff here, and I don't want a single pixel to go to waste. Let's make up for lost time. It's too bad you'll be dead by 12. <laughs> I'm 16! You ass. They're all teenagers or adults, Derek. They weren't kidding. This is a dead <laughs> ringer for SAO. The Town of Beginnings got all these old memories riled up. Yeah, I still can't believe if it's a good thing or not. It seems like they made some turning changes. Tuning. Tuning changes. Switched up some shops. Alright, well, that sounds like as good a place to start as any. Pelia was also trapped in SAO. What's worse, she was held in a terrifying place deep in Ironcrad uh, okay. called the Hollow Area. It was supposed to be hidden from players, but after I fell inside and found Philia, we weren't together to break free. Maybe not. I still don't know who this is. When I first stumbled upon her, she was wary of me. She'd been alone for so long, it's good to see her smiling. So, this was where the death game began. It seems so peaceful. Oh, right! You and Leaf have never saw this part of Ironcrad. The teleportation gate mishap took you right to us. Yeah, I've never seen anything below the 76th floor. Of course, when we arrived, I was terribly lost. I just logged into a life or death scenario. It was a bit disconcerting. Still, I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that you almost died, accident or not. Shouldn't I be the one to say that? Why? Do you have a death wish? <laughs> okay, why don't we settle on the fact that it was evenly wonderful for the both of us. Why is any- why do we have to do all this fucking talking? I just want to play. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but I almost feel afraid of this place. Okay, let's move on. Not weird at all. In fact, normal as SAO survivors. But this isn't the game. We're not in prison here. That much I know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, far. You're right, sorry. Seven went out of her way to invite us. At the very least, we owe it to her to have a lot of fun here. This is all so new for me. I'd never even seen Sword Art Towns. It's really super different from Elfheim. Less flying for one, but totally in other ways too, hee <laughs> hee. What do you think? I always found it nice in its own way. Kind of charming and pastoral. Oh, I love That's it. A big no matter word where for I a turn, like there's somewhere new I want to explore, some new adventure to have. I agree. I'd love to the time to I'd love the time to take a look around <laughs> and see what everything has to offer. Why don't we? I'm pretty sure I remember my way around. I'd be happy to be a tour guide. Yeah, who cares about the game? Let's that just walk around and talk about that shit. That would be wonderful, Phila. I am much obliged. <laughs> Sweet. Tell us all of your favorite super secret spots. We'll be roaming around town then. Send us a message if you decide to take up a quest or something. We'll happily join you. Sounds good! Oh! Nearly uh, forgot! We need to make sure and friend each other. End the conversation, kitty So, Good call. I guess I we're think all technically you mean, here, so I hope you put up with me. Hee <laughs> hee. That's a bit odd to hear from you. And registered. Awesome sauce. Now awesome then, sauce. To town. Onwards. That's really actually obscure that they put that in here. H hey, where are you going? I'm supposed to be the tort get Yuki. No, you gotta do it like Yuki. <laughs> Hehe. I say I have lively. Uh, I have a lively afternoon ahead of me. So lively. You sound like you're full of life. Thanks. We'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, I guess it's really time for me to start this up. Let's get going. I've wasted enough time dicking around. Fucking finally. Ah! Stop talking! Okay, time to head out. I should help to telegate, teleport gate plaza. Telegate. <laughs> I'll tell your gate. 
So those are all, everybody is NPCs except the people you already met, right? No. For the most part, green, that's a player. Green dots are players. Duke. Yellow are NPCs. Cheeps. NPCs in these names is cheeps. Cheep, 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 what do you think, Maddie? Should I just keep talking in this voice? No. I think there's gonna be a cutscene I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Man, so you just love this game. It's not <laughs> like this game came out years <laughs> after the original oh game that God. they're all talking about. Came oh, out. hey! The Black Iron Palace. Those aren't exactly the memories I'm hoping for here. In Sword Art's origin... Wait, is it in parentheses because now he's thinking it? Yes. What? So every other time he's just talking out loud? Run out into the world, get your ass kicked, and pop up back here. It was supposed to be the same once the game launched. Instead, it just sort of became a mausoleum. There's no respawning in Ironcrad, only dying, only loss. Damn it, that thing was tough. Kicked our ass. Wow, there's cursing. I think I found the problem. We didn't heal, like, at all. Let's go back. I got its patterns unlocked now. That thing will never know what hit it. Right behind you. But there's nothing like that to worry about here. Everything is the way it should be. Safe, alive, hopeful, totally never gonna change. Alright. We'll head into the field right after a little shopping. Why can't we just play? Sorry, I didn't notice you were right there. You landed in such a sexy pose. Hey, you're the, the, the NPC. This girl, the NPC. I saw her just before I wired C message. Weird. Hold on, is she following me? No, no, that's crazy. This must be part of her programmed path. I I was not in a state of awareness. My surroundings were unknown. No worries. Uh, I was distracted too. Here, let me help you up. Hmm. Hey, I met you here before, right? Okay. Duck newer doesn't seem to be working well. I uh, guess she's not one of the town NPCs meant to navigate new players around. That leaves a uh, quest giver, maybe? If so, uh, there's normally a word queue that can start up her quest. Um, is there something you want to get for you? I want so something I want. This one's stupid. Uh, somewhere you want me to take you? Oh, sweet. I'm so triggered. Triggered! <laughs> what do you mean, triggered? Triggered! <laughs> Nothing. Uh, just talking to myself. <laughs> I do that a lot. Cool. An escort quest. I love, I really wanted to meet an escort in this game. Time to get it on. Yes. All right, I'll take you wherever you want to go, wink wink. Just lead the way. Understood. Nice, she joined up. Check the party screen for her name, which is... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Nothing. <laughs> it's blank. <coughs> Should be right here next to her HP meter. Maybe it's a plot thing. Like, you can only know her name... Her true name once you beat the quest or something. I can dig it. I like her outfit. In fact, it's something the matter. Let's not have any names. Sorry, no, I'm good. Let's just go, miss. Damn. Still couldn't get them play. digits. Oh, she can travel with us now? Whenever a cursor is displayed on another character, you can press triangle. You don't need to read that part. To you bring up the character analysis screen. Maddie. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I'm going to read it so I can learn it. Here you can view information about that character's stats and extra skills. In the center is the affection system, which measures the intensity of the player's emotions. The attitude icon and ratings tell you about their current mood. 
This affects how they fight or act when in town. This also ties in to how they develop both in terms of what they find easy to learn and what they are proactive about. Damn, that's a fucking complicated game mechanic. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can switch like, oh, between wow. status and extra skill displays on the character analysis screen. EX skill trees displays what EX skills a character has acquired. Skills that are grayed out have not yet been acquired. Yeah, that's pretty fucking obvious. EX skill level increases when the character uses that skill. Increase the character's EX skill to increase the skill's duration. Ah! <laughs> ah! Don't you want to learn about the attitudes rating, which have a large effect on a player's personality, are displayed in the affection system. These affect how quickly they develop their level of aggression in combat and their reactions to private chats. We do DM up in here? You will only yeah, catch like... fleeting glimpses of their true nature, but you Tell can me. lock that in to influence their development. Some combinations of attitude ratings unlock special abilities. This is just this is basically a dating simulator. Your like actions this. have a profound so impact on these special characteristics, so they are likely You're to yelling. change a great deal. I can talk. <laughs> Ready so, to play the game, Maddie? Due to player interactions infecting NPC growth oh and development, new features have been added to the affection system. Great. Screen changes. Strength of individual emotions are denoted within the affection system circle. Ugh. This indicates a character's personality as a whole and fluctuates depending on the emotions that character feels. How interesting. A character's reaction time will speed up as their emotions grow and develop. What? Faster reactions mean that they will think together. and act quicker in combat. Well, I guess if you're not emotionally compromised. You can switch between the status and EX skill windows. EX skill level increases when the character- I already read this! Well, you're reading it again. They really want to hammer it in. Don't forget about it. You are now able to assign stars to certain skills if a character's emotion strength is high enough. Emotion strength? The more stars they have, the more often they will use their EX skill. You can now change the EX skill set for a character from the status window. Changing an EX skill will reset don't... the level of the <laughs> EX cur skill currently equipped. Let's play the game. <laughs> the real prison isn't Sword Art Online. It's this fucking information menu. She has Jesus. no personality. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything here. <laughs> then don't worry about it for now. Then baby. why would they tell me? About it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's an NPC. You can't control NPCs, maybe. They pre program themselves. Anywho. Asuna is technically an NPC. Oh, uh, Maddie, do not talk to people. Oh. Uh, let's see. Okay. What do I click this? Oh, okay. Maddie, you ready? What? That's all the time we have left on. No! <laughs> this whole episode was a cutscene. No! I just want to play. But hey, if you guys like this series, because I think Maddie's definitely in love with it disappointed <laughs> that's that's more of a, like a eh I don't care oh okay I was gonna say make sure to not say any style there girl uh nope <laughs> wait 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 no okay anywho that's all the time that we have for today um leave a comment if you like the series you know uh ring the bell for notifications for when we upload and until next time stay adventurous and we'll see you then bye bye fucking cutscene